this is the RPA champion and in today's video we are going to see how to use the credential manager from Blue Prism. You will learn how to store passwords securely with Blue Prism. So the first thing that you need to do is go to systems and set up the encryption schema. So in case you haven't set up already an encryption, an encryption schema, you should set one up. It's very straightforward. Uh, what I would advise to do is set it up via database and just generate a new key. After that, you would have to enable it. Once the encryption schema has been set up, you can insert credentials. So to insert credentials, so let's say, for example, that we want to uh, log into Gmail and we need the Google credentials. So in that case, we would create a new set of credentials that we would store in this container. So we would insert all of the information that we require for our, for our username and password. And additionally, also we can set an expiry date. Usually passwords expire every three months, every month, every so often. It is good practice to set the expiry date so that the robot doesn't break uh, when the password expires. Uh, another good, uh, another important thing is to enable uh, the credential and to grant it different rights. So to grant it rights to different roles, to grant it rights to different processes. So this is a process that I have created already and that we will be using. So don't forget that you have to come here. If you create a new process, you have to come here and grant your process the right to use this credential. And we also have to enable the resources. If we're going to be running this, uh, the process on a resource, this credential also has to be enabled. Now, how do we use this inside of a process? It is very simple. We need an action. Inside of the action, we will look for the credentials business object. Once we find the credentials business object, we would select get. We would insert the credentials name. Now remember to insert the credentials name under quotes. And then we have the outputs. So where do you want to store the password, the username, the expiry date, and so on? Here's a little, uh, a little tip. If you click this button in Blue Prism, it will automatically create a variable for you of the right kind for this, for this type of data. So let's create a variable for each one of these. And just let's make it a little bit, a little bit prettier. Not too much prettier, but just a little bit. All right. So uh, now we should be able to retrieve the credentials. Let's just review it one more time. The credentials from this, from what we have set up before. So if we go back to our process and we save our process, we got our username and password. Now we can use this, uh, these two variables anywhere inside of our process to authenticate with a, uh, with a website, an application, or wherever we might need it. So this is a secure way to to keep your passwords, but it's not only a secure way, it's also a way that is very easy to manage and it's going to also help you managing the expiry of your passwords. If you have any suggestions or tips or any other ways that uh, you are storing passwords or you would like to see, uh, you, would, you would like to see different kinds of videos that I'm making, please let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.